Urban Arts Partnership was created to use the arts as the engine for a radical transformation of public education. We work with struggling schools to integrate the arts into the core curriculum and level the playing field for underserved students. Our partner schools are located in neighborhoods with the highest concentration of poverty and often struggle with attendance and graduation rates. Our mission has evolved over time to serve the most academically vulnerable students, such as recent immigrants or students with autism, and those who are just not connecting with their education. Our goal is to close the achievement gap in underserved public schools. Our approach is to use the arts as the hook to get young people excited about learning and engage them in their education. If a student isn't engaged, learning doesn't happen. Once young people are engaged, they start showing up to class more regularly, ask more questions, and make connections across subject matter. Being able to grasp geometry because they are making kites in their math class puts the student at the center of their learning experience rather than just being a bystander. This is how you inspire academic success, and this is how you transform students into lifelong learners. Urban Arts Partnership works with more than 100 underserved public schools that have existing infrastructures in place, and we build off this infrastructure to transform the system itself. For example, in 2010, we won an Investing in Innovation grant from the U.S. Department of Education. Our program called EASE, Everyday Arts for Special Education, works with the entire special education district in New York City, focusing on students with severe learning disabilities and autism. Over a five-year period, we will reach 40,000 students and 700 teachers. The strategies that we instill in these 700 teachers will continue throughout their teaching career, ultimately reaching hundreds of thousands of students. We work in a formal way with districts to identify schools who have a need for our programs. We recently expanded to Los Angeles. Our model was so successful so quickly that we were chosen to pilot the landmark Arts at the Core initiative, which is bringing the arts back into LA schools by integrating them into the academic curriculum. At the classroom level, our programs are effective because we speak the school's language and the student's language. Our goals mirror the school's goals. Our programs are based on the most recent educational research. We bring youth culture and the latest technology into the classroom, which engages the young person in their learning. Hard data backs up the evidence that we improve academic performance. Graduation rates at our partner schools are 20% higher than their peer schools. In our Fresh Prep program, 80% of students who had previously failed the Regents exam excelled after taking the program. 80% of students in our literacy program for English language learners showed an improvement in their fluency in English. And 100% of students in our academy program graduated high school compared to New York City's graduation rate of around 60%, and 95% of them went on to college. Beyond these outcomes are the incredible artworks our students create. These artworks have won awards at national and global festivals, as well as featured in the New York Times and presented on Broadway. When people hear the word arts in our name, they usually think of a traditional art class, a child playing the violin, a dancer on a stage, a paintbrush and canvas. While these are fine images, when people hear about Urban Arts Partnership, we want them to think of history taught through original hip-hop songs, an autistic child learning to communicate through theater games, a teacher learning to teach statistics through photography. We also want people to know that we have co-founded six small schools, that we contribute to education reform policy, and that we transform the public school system, one classroom at a time. Our biggest accomplishment is we've proven our integrated arts programming closes the achievement gap. The fact that Urban Arts Partnership has grown in an environment where arts programs are being cut in public schools across the country proves that our partners believe in us too. Also, 
We're the only arts education organization to receive a grant from the Robin Hood Foundation in recognition of our poverty fighting programs. We were awarded an I3 grant to lead the largest research project in the country on how the arts impact learning for special needs students. And we opened New York's first Peapod Adobe Youth Voices Academy, a partnership between the Black Eyed Peas and Adobe. One out of four US high school students drop out of school or fail to graduate on time. We are in an educational crisis. A recent study found that CEOs across the world value creativity as the most important leadership competency for tomorrow's workforce. The arts are not a luxury or just an add-on. Bringing integrated arts education back into schools is essential to reforming the system and putting this country back on track as an engine of innovation and ingenuity. More importantly, it also increases the value of education in the eyes of students, mostly students of color, who need to graduate from high school and achieve a higher standard of college and career readiness. We're proud of how we've leveraged our partnerships to bring millions of dollars in services to public school classrooms, giving students at high poverty schools we're serving a fighting chance. We want to expand our program's reach to address needs in and outside of New York City. Based on our successful expansion to six schools in Los Angeles, we know our programs work to support the needs of struggling students in high poverty communities. In order to continue our mission to close the achievement gap, we want to grow in Los Angeles and serve other cities that have areas of high poverty. Having proved the arts help students graduate from high school and reach college, Urban Arts would love the opportunity to follow our kids beyond the milestone of their high school diploma. Only a third of high school graduates are actually prepared for college, and so supporting our students through college and continuing to prepare them for jobs they can build a future on would further our mission of equipping them with the creative and critical thinking skills they need for long-term success.